Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about a question that I got in stream, which is git diff can take, you know, a parameter dot dot another parameter or a parameter dot 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 another parameter. And what is the difference between those? And so I wanted to show you that difference today. So let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be working on a repository today called ASD Pretty. Uh, one line graph decorate. Um, it has some Git history. It doesn't really matter what repository I'm using. I just decided to pick this one because it's, it's going to be easy enough. Actually, let's put this over here. Git log one line graph decorate. Uh, two dashes on decorate. Indeed, you are correct. Um, okay, so I'm going to simulate like time travel here. We're going to go back in time and pretend that we're at the point where 2.0 was released. Now, there's some changes that have happened after 2.0. Uh, but let's pretend that we, you know, on this day, created a branch from the 2.0 release and we made some changes to it. So I'm going to do that by doing get checkout this dash b some feature branch. And maybe on this feature branch, we're going to do, I'm just going to do a silly change to this function where we're just going to, I don't know, print hello world here. Maybe that's what the bug called for, but I don't know, this is, this is a made up example. And maybe we added that, and maybe we committed this, um, you know, at Hello World. Uh, and that's that's maybe what our change was for this particular patch, whatever. Now, if I want to see the differences made on this particular branch, I might compare it against the master branch. Uh, but in this case, the main branch has progressed beyond this. So, you know, let's say while that feature branch was in flight, we also did all these other things to to the the main branch and merged in a bunch of different changes and and other stuff. So, you know, the main branch continued onwards while we were still you know working on this patch. And so, if you went to diff this against master, you would run git diff master, um, or you could do git diff master dot dot head uh, or the branch name or you know something that represents the current branch. And you'll notice here that there's all sorts of other stuff that happened on master, which, uh, you know, didn't didn't happen in my branch. The only thing that I did in my branch was this one line here, but we have all this other stuff that we don't really don't really care about because that all came from here. And you'll see the same happens if we do master uh, dot dot head. You'll see that, you know, the diffs, the, the diff is backwards. Uh, or the, the diff is extra and it's also backwards because I <laughs> went from master to head instead of head to master, but whatever. Uh, but you'll notice there's a bunch of stuff here that we don't want to see. And the, the cool thing is git diff takes this triple dot operator uh, instead of double dot. And what triple dot will do is it will follow merge bases. So it'll find the point in time where I forked off from this branch from, from here. And it'll compare against that commit instead of comparing against, you know, the actual literal master. So if we do git diff master dot dot head, you'll see that we get exactly this, um, you know, exactly this diff here. And the way this actually works, and you can actually simulate this, I think this is a newer feature, so you can actually simulate this in older git, git by using git merge base. Uh, so we do git mer merge base master head. So it takes two arguments, which are the two things that we're trying to find where they had a common ancestor at. Um, and you can see here that it points to AA1E7, which happens to be where I forked off from. Um, and so you could do git diff git merge base base master head dot dot head so note i'm using double dot here because we've we've gone back to having a literal answer here you can actually use triple dot here as well i think it works yeah so, uh if you know if one of these is equal to the merge base you'll get the same result if it's two or three dots but anyway hopefully this is useful i've used this a lot well i didn't know about this for many years and when i finally figured this out this saved me so much time when trying to figure out how my branch differed from upstream um, without having to like rebase or merge or do something like that. But uh, I find this super useful. So hopefully you find it useful as well. But if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.